Welcome to AngularJS Tutorials. So these are the videos which we will try to cover up AngularJS and the details about AngularJS. What are all, what are all parts of AngularJS are there in the market. So just to give you a brief detail about AngularJS. AngularJS is invented by Google. So one of the employees of Google has invented AngularJS and then after that it is being maintained by Google so it's an open source offered open source technology offered by Google so anybody can use download this download the AngularJS libraries and use this in their web applications to develop the more interactive and more user responsive user friendly applications so that starts with the angular js so first of all as we have known about the frameworks frameworks are basically used to design the applications and all the applications depends on their basic frameworks so today today in this slide we will look into the mvc framework m in mv star stands for model the model is where you store the data and state of your application. So basically model is nothing but the set of objects which contains the properties. The V in MV star stands for view. The view is where you actually render to the user the information that you want them to see and the view is where you receive the input from the user. So basically view is nothing but whatever the output we show to the user in the browser. That output constant contains the data and the HTML and we, we use the view to take the input from the user like suppose there are text boxes we, we can get the data from the text boxes from the user. So that's the view. The star in MV star stands for something else. In many common MV star frameworks, the star is either a controller or a presenter or a view model. As most of you must have heard about MVP framework, MVVM framework, MVC framework. So the star in those frameworks refers to either a presenter, either a view model or a controller. As I've told you, Angular uses controller, so some people may call Angular an MVC framework. framework. So that's all about MVC framework. Now let us go in the details of forward thinking and why we say that AngularJS is a futuristic technology. Because while developing AngularJS, the folks which were which who are working on the who are working on it had the futuristic approach and they have implemented a lot of things which are for which are upcoming in web applications and AngularJS can incorporate them very easily. So the last important attribute of Angular that we will discuss is how it is forward thinking. Angular is basically supporting the future of what we will see in a web technology in upcoming years. And as that technology becomes more widespread, our Angular applications will already be, already be built to take advantage of that technology. So what are, what are those examples or what are those futuristic things which are coming into the web applications? The first we can say is the web components. So let's Let's learn about or let's read about what is the web components. What HTML would be if it had been designed for applications and not for documents? Well, that's what web components are. Web components allow you to make truly encapsulated components and widgets for your page encapsulating HTML, JavaScript and CSS. So web component is a thing where we consider HTML as a language to develop the web applications and not just the documents. 
so you can create or a set of developers can create a component and they can use that in their web applications so web component can in web component will encapsulate HTML its JavaScript and the CSS and those whenever a particular web component is used as a tag in HTML all those things will be rendered and that particular HTML will be rendered to the end user on a browser the second futuristic thing that AngularJS supports is the object observer so another up and coming feature that will soon be supported by some browsers is object observer this technology lets you watch an object or a property on a JavaScript object for changes and react to those changes most MVSTAR frameworks make you stick your data into special structures and call methods whenever you want to read or write to that data because angular doesn't do that it can support object observe when it becomes widely available and angular will simply benefit from the performance improvements of having things handled by faster and lower in lower level code so object observe is nothing but like angular js will observe the javascript objects for its changes and whenever those objects will objects are changed the respective view and uh, other changes which are required will be done dynamically so that's the object observe thing which angular js supports so let's move on to the features or main features of angular js that differentiate it from other javascript languages or other scripting languages first Angular handles showing the data on the page, which you can do using partial templates or just modify the HTML DOM that already exists. So there are lots of directives and filters and other things which are available in AngularJS, which you can implement in your HTML and make the make the UI more responsive, more attractive. Angular also handles updating the data or a model based on user interactions. So when a user types into a text field, that new value can automatically be copied into your model. You don't have to wait for certain events. You can just tell Angular that a certain text box owns a certain piece of data and it will keep them in a sync. This feature is called a two-way binding. So basically two-way binding is a thing where whenever the model in a background gets updated those updates will be reflected in a view and suppose a particular object in a view is updated then those changes will be transferred to the model and model will be updated according to the values in a view so both model and view data will be in a sync so this is the two-way binding we will learn more about it through the demo in upcoming video series and lastly angular handles routing or moving from one view to another this is the key piece in building single page applications or spans single page applications are nothing but where we have a container page and small other multiple small web pages so depending on user actions those small pages will be loaded into the container page and it it's and it will give a feel that we are navigating from into the different pages but it will be a single page which will be rendering different pages into it so it's a lightweight it is used to create lightweight applications so these are the spas this way you can completely change your view based on user interaction with your page in this routing feature while supporting the spas that is single page applications angular will also update the url in a browser so that new view can be bookmarked for later use so these are the features which angular js supports and which differentiate it from other scripting languages let's move to the architecture of angular the first thing like angular supports two way binding as we have seen in previous slide this means the user input from a form field is instantly updated in your angular models that means in most cases you don't need to watch 
for specific events and respond to them and then manually update your HTML instead angular we handle that for you angular also employs a technique called dirty checking the net result of the net result of this is that you don't have to put your data into special structures and call getter setter methods to read and write to your data you can simply put your data into a plain old javascript object and angular will respond whenever your data changes and automatically update your view so this feature of angular js called dirty checking where we will put our data into a javascript object and angular will continuously look for look out for changes in object whenever a particular property of object changes or updates then angular js will take note of it and will update the view according to the changes into the objects so this is the dirty check-in lastly angular is built on dependency injection this lets you encapsulate pieces of your application better and also improves the testability as most of you will be aware of dependency injection in your in software world so angular is built up as a container so that we can we can inject the different dependencies and get our work done so like for example we, we can have a surf service injected into a controller so we can we can inject the service into the controller and get the service behave as we want so angular js supports the dependency injection throughout okay let's now move on to angular components so there are three major components or three components in angular first one is a controller second is views that slash directives third is a services so these three can communicate with each other in a bi-directional way so let's go into the details of these components one by one so let's first look at the controller controller is the central player in angular application controller can contain both logic and state controller can communicate with you through one way and two way bindings so one way and two way binding is like to give an example suppose we have a model that is model or object and we have a view so one way is where any property or that particular objects get updated that will be reflected in a view through one way binding in a two way binding model whenever model gets updated the view will be updated and vice versa will happen the next thing the next component is a view views are made up of bindings and directives this is how angular talks to and listens to the user so currently don't worry about directives we will have a look into them in a details in upcoming videos and the last major piece is services services gives you the place to contain the real logic and the state of your application if you think about what is the essential task of your application this would likely happen in your services complex business logics important application states and other things services are the place to house it all also services are the place where you will want to communicate with the server so services are nothing but to just give you a brief they are the objects containing properties and methods in angular so all the complicated business logic will go into the services so these are the components of angular and these are the basics about angular so let's next is the development tool which we will be using throughout our videos or throughout these sessions so the development tool which we will be using is a plunker so let's let me open the plunker and give you a small demo or small details about it so let's open our browser 
go to plunker.co that is plnkr.co so here is the website of a plunker we can click on launch the editor and go into the editor part as you can see this contains or this the screen is divided into three sections first one contains the plunks that we are using or the files which we will be using second thing is the display display of file so whatever the contents we are we have written in a file will be displayed in this second black path the third section contains of the view or oh, the results which will be shown on which will the result window where whatever coding we have done in the files those all will be encapsulated and the output will be shown to us in this third window that is the output window so first of all let's go into the files and understand what we can do in this section so we if we don't want any file we can delete that particular file by clicking on this X button so it will ask us for confirmation say yes and that file will be removed if we want to rename any particular file double click on that file and you can change the file name to whichever you want the third thing is you can add a new file by clicking on this provide the file name or any particular extension with any with any particular extension and that file will be added to your application so that was this first tab or this first section second section is the view of the file so currently I have opened index.html so all the data or all the code that is present in index.html is shown in into this display window if I click on script.js then content of that page or content of that file will be displayed here as currently I don't have anything in script and also a CSS so these are blank files shown in this the third section of the screen as we have seen is output window or display so in the rightmost corner I can show you the details or I we can see there is a live preview which will which will show the output onto the screen or whatever the output is available of the code the second is find and find an external libraries so in this part we can search for particular libraries which we want to include in our application and add those into your in our application the third thing is code link so in this section we can see the errors or warnings and information whichever available in our code we can get the details of error and have a look into it in this particular section the last section is the editor options so in this editor I will have the auto refresh option if I select this option then my output window will be auto refreshed in this particular interval this section is 1000 milliseconds we can specify at whatever interval of time we want to refresh our output window currently I am disabling this as I don't want to auto refresh my output the next thing is let me open this index.html the next thing is we can adjust the font style or font size then we can change the theme let's I want to change to chrome so that will be changed and you can see the file content in particular theme suppose I want to get back to the Mokai and here it comes so that was about these three sections which are available in Plunker on a top menu bar we have few things like saving a plunk suppose I have done few of the changes you know I have created my own plunk and worked on it so I can save it copy this URL and pass it on 
to anybody so that they can open that in their browser and have a look into into the plunk the next thing is this beautify your code suppose I have written a large amount of code in my file and I want to uh, do the indentation properly so you can click click on this button and that will do the proper indentation and spacing in your file the third thing is the download plunk as a zip file after saving the plunk if I want a local copy of that plunk I can click on this button and it will zip all the files in a plunk and I can save that on my local machine for this first video where we will we have gone through the details of components futuristic approach architecture of angular js and other features and then we have gone through the editor which we'll be using for our demos that is plunker thanks